life ain't figured out. But I promise if you stick around, it'll never get boring. I'm so excited for this video. Okay, let's go. If you're new here, if you've just come across this video, hello, thanks for being here. My name's Claire. I've recently graduated, well I haven't technically graduated yet, I'm not technically graduating until summer 2021, we all know why. But yeah, I recently finished studying um, maths at the University of Exeter, I just finished my master's degree, and the question is, what next? What's happening with my channel? What, what am I going to be doing? So I thought I'd have a quick chat with you, just sit down and have a chat about what I am doing with my life, well that was a bit dramatic, about what I'm doing for the next kind of year or two, what I'm currently working on, what my plans are, just trying to keep you in the loop, you know, I want you to know what's happening uh, so that we can kind of go through this journey together. Got myself a coffee, um, I've also gone slightly more of a formal setting for this video than I usually do, I usually make videos just sat on the floor of my bedroom, but for this video I kind of thought this is an important video for me, this is very like meaningful, let's give it the atmosphere it deserves, so we're at a desk environment today. Well, I have some really exciting things coming up, but first I just wanted to say a little bit about what videos I'm making this summer before I start the next chapter of my graduate life. So one of the things I want to do is make a university series. I know a lot of you watching this are students and I really want to be a useful resource for note taking, how I revise for exams, study advice, I really want them to be helpful for you. So yeah, if you have any requests or anything like that, head over to my Instagram, I'll be asking questions about what you want to see. As well as those videos, I'll be making the kinds of videos you've been seeing already, just vlogs of graduate life. So, as a maths graduate, hang on, as a maths graduate there were a lot of career paths open to me, so I could have gone down the finance route, technology, I'm now struggling to think of any, accounting, aerospace engineering, working at the Met Office, which actually the University of Exeter is where I went and Exeter is where the global Met Office is. So a lot of Exeter maths graduates do go on to work at the Met Office and do statistical modelling and like prediction and all of that. You can go into academics with any subject and do a PhD, become a researcher or a lecturer or a teacher. So that's kind of what my options were when I was deciding. That was kind of where my head was at, what my decisions were about. And I think probably you you know, if you've been following my videos, I'm not going down the academic route. I'm, I've I'm quite clearly not doing a PhD. The reason for that is just that there wasn't a topic that interested me enough to want to do a PhD on it. I'm not ruling it out or saying I would never do that, just right now I'm not in the like right zone for it. I'm not really, my gut feeling isn't to do a PhD and I think, well I can do a whole separate video about why I'm not doing a PhD because actually I think there's a lot to say for reasons to do it and reasons not to do it, but for me right now it's just not the right thing for me. But what am I doing? So, this is so exciting for me, I can't believe I get to finally say this. Basically, I've had this offer for a grad scheme since, I think, August 2019, or maybe September 2019. I've had it for like a year, but I couldn't say anything because it depended on my university degree. It was conditional that I get at least a certain grade in my university degree. So, I've been sitting on this information for like a year <laughs> and I haven't been able to really tell anybody because I didn't know if I was going to get the grades for it but spoiler alert um, I did get the grades for it if you want to watch me being extremely dramatic overreacting to my degree results you can watch that in this video but um, yeah I'm going to stop beating about the bush what am I doing for the next year or two I'm going to be doing a consulting graduate scheme at one of the big four in data analytics for financial services which is a bit of a mouthful. You're probably sat there like class, still don't really know what you're gonna be doing. I can do one better than telling you what it involves. I can show you. If you watched my internship video, um, which I will have linked below in case you haven't, um, it's the same job that I was doing in my internship. I got a return offer at the end of that. The sun has come out at the worst moment. I'm in the middle of the dramatic reveal and the lighting had gone completely overexposed. How do I stop this? Lighting's changed, everything's a disaster, just give me a minute. 
right well this is gonna have to do as we've established before in many of my videos i'm not great at lighting the sun is going to be going in and out lighting's gonna change we're just gonna have to collectively deal with it it's as annoying for me as it is for you what it involves is my company has clients which are other companies which by the way i'm not going to say exactly which company i'm at um just for safety reasons but it's one of the big four and basically it involves using data science and data analytics to inform decisions for these companies like business decisions and it's just a really exciting starting job for me it's like the ideal start place for my career because I really didn't know what I wanted to do for a long long time at university. I liked the idea of going into tech, I've always taken um, a lot of modules that involved programming, I did a module in the computer science department so I always knew that I wanted to be able to use that in my career um, but I also really enjoyed finance, I did an option pricing module, that's another area that I'm interested in. This is like a really good career that lets me explore all of those things plus this job also involves a lot of business strategy which I didn't study at university so I think that kind of gives me an opportunity for growth. What that means for my channel is that I'll be making loads of work week in my life videos once I start that graduate scheme I'm really looking forward to making those I think it'll be a really nice follow-on from my university week in my life videos I'm hoping it will be helpful for students watching this to kind of see what it's like to go from university to a graduate job I'm really excited for the videos I can make Oh and there's something else I haven't told you about it um, It's in Edinburgh, like Scotland Which might sound really random um, I... I'm honestly quite surprised myself that this is where I've ended up going. I always thought I would go and end up in London working there, um, but my internship was in Edinburgh, which honestly was kind of by chance. I had applied late to the internship and it had already closed in London, um, but they still had positions at offices outside London and I was kind of like, if I'm going to spend a summer in a different city, which city would I like to go to? And I picked Edinburgh. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to be moving there for work, which is kind of a random twist in my life. But I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, I had a great time living in Edinburgh last summer. I'm always up for a bit of traveling, seeing a new city. So that's my graduate scheme. I'm really excited for it. But there's a plot twist because we're in the middle of a global pandemic. My graduate scheme was meant to start in September of this year, 2020. It's now starting in 2021. If you've been watching my videos, you actually already know that, but I wanted to make it a bit dramatic. So that whole graduate scheme, um, it's not happening until 2021, it's a while away. So what am I doing until then? I'm glad you asked. I have a lot of projects that I'm working on this summer that I'm really excited about. I have a virtual internship right now in data analytics. Sorry, I've just been really distracted by the sun coming out and ruining my exposure. <laughs> I'm taking part in a mentorship program organised by Home From College, uh, which the program is to match recent graduates with people in industry. Um, it's a really exciting opportunity. They're running this program again uh, next month, I think. They're gonna they're planning to run it a couple of times. So if you're a recent graduate get on that because that's a great opportunity and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm obviously making YouTube videos, I have some really exciting plans for my channel, there's the university series that I mentioned earlier but there's also going to be um, non-university related videos, I'll be alternating them. Like I said head over to Instagram if you want some input into those videos because I really want them to be helpful for you. So um, and I really feel like after four years of university there's definitely a lot I know now that I wish I had known then. So that's kind of what I'm doing this summer and then between September and December I'm hoping to do an internship, um, I haven't fully sorted that out yet though, and then I'll be starting my graduate scheme in early 2021. I'm really excited for everything that I have planned, I cannot wait to start making work week in my life videos, I think it's going to be so fun and hopefully useful for anyone who's considering going into a similar job to me or maths graduates who want to know what's out there as a potential career path. So there you have it, student to graduate to working full time. You and I, let's do this. You know my life ain't figured out. But I promise if you stick around, it'll never get bored.